Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel. First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up. In this video, we are going to review Ultimate Member plugin, its pros and cons, main features, installation and of course the dashboard itself. If you are ready, let's start. So that's basically it. Let's put in our glasses, if you wear ones, of course. Uh, open our laptops and take a look at this plugin. So let's take a look first of all at the numbers. Uh, it works with WordPress 5.0 version and above. It has more than 200,000 active installations. It is tested up to WordPress 5.8.3 version and has 4.5 star ratings. Now we are going to review the main features, uh, which are Front-end user profiles, front-end user registration, and front-end user login. User profile pages are very important. Uh, this gives your website visitors an opportunity to register and manage their account from front-end front and eliminates the need to register them from back-end. Custom form fields, conditional logic for form fields. Conditional logic in regards to forms is a way to create forms that change based on input. Drag and drop form builder, which makes just everything easier. Uh, custom user roles, member directories, and user emails. Even content restriction. You can allow or restrict content for certain users and, for example, offer them to access a certain content with a premium uh, paid subscription. And developer friendly with dozens of actions and filters. The pricing. Let's uh, take a look at the pricing. So it basically has three plans free one. User profiles, user registration, login, content restriction, member directories. It has $249 per year plan, which gives you access to all paid extensions and unlimited sale licenses. And $299 plan, which offers everything the previous plan does, plus ultimate member theme. So, if we go to through pros and cons, they are uh, in the pros list, good user interface, easy to use, lots of necessary features which you are most likely going to use, and affordable. In the cons list is sl slow support, I mean, it could have been faster. And now we are going to take a look at the dashboard of this plugin, at the interface. So we're going to the unlimited, uh, ultimate member, clicking on it, clicking on general, where we can see user page, login page, register page, and we can choose any option here we would like for customization. For example, should it be the about page, about us page, or whatever. In the access part, we can see global site access, replace the restricted post title, and basically manage all of that. In the emails, we can see uh what are what actions are performed so who registered what email is approved what emails was were not approved what accounts were deactivated for example here in the appearance there is profile user profile etc etc you can also customize everything you need over there and there's an installation information. In the forms part, we get three default uh, forms which we can customize. For example, if we click on default login, here we see how it appears to users, which have to, or of course have not have to, their choice, who wants to register on your website, how they would see that. For example, username or email and password. That is a login form. There is also a registration form. Let's take a look at that. Here is default profile, by the way, how profile looks. You can also customize that and default registration. Also, we can add a new form anytime we would like. Um, choose it is a login form, profile form or registration form. Then choose the setup fields, a predefined fields, etc. And here we can title, meta key, placeholder, literally everything. You don't need any knowledge encoding for this plugin. It just makes everything easier for you. Mm -hmm. Here we can also change the appearances of the buttons, add or remove buttons. And all of this is very, very cool. In the user roles, here is the part where you can control all of your users and their roles. You can give access or restrict someone from doing uh, certain things, from taking certain actions. So here you can also view the registration options, etc. and member directories. 
also extensions there are lots of extensions available out there and each of them gives you a certain benefit more about the extensions i wrote in the article about the ultimate member plugin review so make sure to check out the description down below go with the link and check out the article where you can find out about everything in more detail so guys that was all i wanted to tell you i hope you liked this video if you did do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic also leave down below any comments or feedback that you have and check out the description down below where you can find the links to our blog and the ultimate member plugin thank you for watching see you in the next video bye